All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Facebook Live broadcast. I am Kelsey Litchfield, and I am the marketing manager at the Galesburg Area Chamber of Commerce, and I am here at the Packing House, where we are going to have our April business after hours. So it will be held Friday, April 25th from 5 to 7, and today we're going to talk with Tabitha just to learn more about the Packing House. They recently came under new ownership. They recently reopened and all that good stuff. So you're gonna get a little sneak peek into what's going on here at the Packing House. But before we get too far, um, Tabitha, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your role here at the Packing House. Uh, my name is Tabitha Sunberg. I am the owner, operator, manager. So my role is um, pretty much all of it. <laughs> I take care of the staffing. I take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. As well as being the owner and and you co-own that entails. You co yes, with this. my husband. Yep, she co owns a packing house with her husband, and this is your full time job. Yes, more like probably like sixty hours. Yeah, right now, forty hours a week. Day to day day operations, I manage, and he manages more along the business aspect and the um, upkeep of upkeep. the building. Okay, cool. And what we're in here today, I can show you maybe a little preview if you've never been in the packing house before. We're in, would you call this the side room, the back room? What is this typically? We refer to it as the lounge. The lounge, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're currently in the lounge where business after hours will be held. So you come through the door and it's going to be right on your right. So it will be pretty simple to find when you come here on the 25th. Um, so Tabitha, tell me a little bit more of the history of the restaurant. It's been, in a, it's been a staple in the Galesburg community for quite a while, um, but tell me a little bit more about the history and all that good stuff. I'll let you okay. take over. The, well, the building itself was actually a meat processing plant that was opened in 1912 by Swift and Company. Oh, okay. Um, and just meat packing. Yes, only meat packing. Um, there's several things still in the building that went along with the meat packing. Um, in 1976, the, the Swift and Company closed down here in Galesburg. And then in 1978, Jay and Mary Matson purchased it to open it as a restaurant, and it opened in 1979. 1979. And then the restaurant itself has been recognized for the, the preservation of the building. Mm -hmm. Um, in the New York Times, the Chicago Tribune. Really? Yes. As far as New York City? Yeah, so Dang. there's a lot of history to it. I was going to say, when you walk up and open that door, I get little flashbacks of like, <laughs> don't go in the freezer or anything like that. You just open the door and you come into a restaurant. I just think that front door is so iconic. Sure. Um, now, as of a lot of the pieces that you have around here. Yeah, yeah, and there's several little items that are from the the actual Swift and Company around the hostess stand is actually a hamburger grinder. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So yeah. those little cool um, yeah. mixed and pieces. Um, before we talk about the new ownership, I'm kind of curious because in the description, if you're watching this Facebook Live video, if you're watching afterwards, I put who wants cinnamon rolls? Because <laughs> they're very well known for your cinnamon rolls. Would you say that's the biggest food item that you have here, the most popular food item? I would say that that's the most common, one of the most common questions along with, do you still have a salad bar? Do you still have a salad bar? Yes. And you do? Yes. Correct? Yes. yes. Okay, awesome. So let's talk a little bit. Um, you talked about a little bit about the history of the company. Talk about now new ownership. What made you want to own such a piece of history of Galesburg that is the Packing House restaurant? Well, I've uh, lived in Galesburg my whole life, so I felt felt like you know I've been part of the history of not you know the place itself but I've had, spent a lot of you know important evenings like birthday celebrations anniversary celebrations yeah. so I, I, th I feel like I grasp the importance of, of the restaurant probably several other not several lots mm -hmm. but other people have ex had the same experience as that I have and we've always wanted to own a restaurant mm -hmm. and then this place closed down and it was kind of heartbreaking to I'm sure see a lot of people thought that yeah. so 
we moved forward with it, and here and we are. You have a little background in restaurants, if, I, if my memory serves me yes, correct. Yeah. Yes, I have been manage, the general manager at Sidetrax for years, and then along with serving and bartending and shift managing and several other restaurants so throughout the experience. community. Awesome. And so when, when did you officially open the packing house? Uh, Mid-January. Mid-January. 2019. All right. Now we're in April already. So it's gone by probably pretty quickly. Yes. 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 So one thing, one question I like to ask in these um, videos is what is one thing that people would be surprised to know about this restaurant? Do you have any fun facts for us? Um, Well, one of the things that people are really surprised about is because everybody thought it was a meat slaughtering facility and it was just actually a meat packing plant. So that's, and I thought so myself. And another fun fact is it's the 40th anniversary of this actually being a restaurant. Oh, 40th, yeah. So. And for being such a staple in Galesburg history, people probably think, yeah, it's been here a while, but they're not sure how long it's been here, but 40 years. Yeah. That's quite an accomplishment for a restaurant, it really is. Oh, absolutely. And such a staple, that's awesome. So, um, like I said, Business After Hours will be here at the Packing House on Thursday, April 25th um, from 5 to 7 p.m. And it will be in the lounge area, which as soon as you walk in, it's on the right-hand side. Um, Tabitha, could you give us a little preview of, will they be having snacks or appetizers or anything that good stuff? Yes, we are working on a menu now. We're going to try to do some sliders of our, a few of our sandwiches so we can share our menu with with others and we'll have cinnamon rolls for sure and some appetizers that we're working on a menu for you know if i planned this right i would have had like a plate of cinnamon rolls like <laughs> right. sitting right here <laughs> key thing to remember for the future <laughs> so i could have uh, tempted all of you but no um, i'm really excited for this and congratulations and thank you for being um, a member of the chamber of commerce we're really excited to bring our board, our ambassadors, our members to your restaurant and see and see it under your ownership. Well, thank you. So excited. So Thursday, April 25th from 5 to 7 p.m. We'll see you there and bring your business cards. Don't forget to bring your business cards.